Maybe then. Um, um, okie dokie, artichokey. Um, when you go out, do you travel with a large entourage? Um, uh, not really, not like, not like a lot of people. Very rarely do I do that. Yeah. I hardly ever go out with a group. I think it's kind of uncomfortable if you go out with too many people. Well, I like going out with, like, a bunch of friends, but... Mm. Yoshi! But, I mean, I don't want to do it all the time. Yeah, that's exhausting, too, doing that all the time. Oh, that, too, and you, like, I feel like I'm, like, either not giving enough attention to one person, or I, I feel like I'm fighting to get heard. Yeah. Because I'm a quiet one, and... I know. I'm like, too. So then I'm like yelling, trying to get it heard, and it's just annoying. And then I end up sitting there like, Aww. <laughs> really? <laughs> Tammy's eyes popped out to the head. Because <laughs> what your brother just tweeted. Oh God! What did he tweet? Does it have he to do with a good He be cussing on Twitter. What did that boy say? <laughs> did he drop an F bomb? Need to F and wake up at five for baseball. <laughs> uh, hashtag S H I T. My mom told me he was sleeping already. <laughs> Maybe that was later. I don't know. Let me check. Because sometimes my phone gets. Yeah. Sometimes my phone gets them late. Mine does that, too. It, like, goes to the point where I stop looking at them, and then it goes forward. It's quite strange. Hey, where did it go? I must go get my power cord before my car- No, my computer dies, not my car. <laughs> okay, donkey. <gasps> what is you do? <laughs> Let me just pick that up. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. Whenever you're ready for the next question. Indeed. Caught myself some new pop. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so freaking cute? It is indeed. I like the eyes. Yeah, she's she's an elf. Where did you come from? Hi, Sydney. <laughs> oh, Max is at the door. Uh oh. Code. <laughs> All righty. Um, what's the most time you spent surfing the web, looking for nothing in particular, but just looking? Freaking long time. <laughs> Pretty long time. Yeah, I, I don't know how long. Because when I was younger, that's all I did was play on the internet. Me too. I would always just kind of like look around at things. Yeah. My favorite thing to do is like go in YouTube. Yeah. And then look at the, the, the recommended videos and just click and see where it takes you. And then you end up getting in the weird part of oh. YouTube. Like the, like the forbidden part of YouTube. <laughs> yeah, the weird part of YouTube. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. Women like four foot nails and those are nasty. <laughs> and, and babies that that are pregnant or whatever with their twin and. I know that's weird. How does that happen? Freaky stuff, man. Max. Alrighty. Okay. Next question. Indeed. Oh no, I've got a thing. Um, do you think people preparing for a zombie apocalypse will be screwed if zombies learn how to shoot guns? <laughs> I don't think it'll matter if they learn to shoot guns. I think they're just gonna eat your face if they have one or not. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think zombies are gonna learn to shoot guns. Probably not. honestly. They kind of because in the way zombies are are portrayed are they are just mindless beings that yep. think of one thing and that's 
Brains. This is they seem to be like devolved humans. I know, right? Brains. I think I, that that dude was really like. I think he thought he was a zombie or something. Maybe I don't know. Well, I honestly I want to know what the hell those if it was bath salts. For one, I didn't think John says they're like cocaine or something. I heard that they're like six different drugs all mixed together. There's, it's like why would you want to be putting that in your bath? I know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Did you say put it in your bath? Yeah. Is that how you do that? Bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> I told John, I'm like, I think it's an actual drug. I don't think it's like real bath salts. He's like, no, it's real bath salts. It's like cocaine. I'm like, no. <laughs> It's not bath salt. That's what they said it was. It was bath salt is what they said. Yeah, but yeah, but that's the, the name of their the drugs, I guess. Oh. That just made my night. <laughs> How do they call it bath salt? I don't know. Maybe because they mix so many different drugs together. I don't know. I was gonna say bath salts are natural, aren't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, isn't it like sea salt or something? Yeah. I, and did you know that that, like, bath salts, this, it makes you melt from the inside? That's gross. That's why they had to take their clothes off. I think he ripped his, the other dude's clothes off. I know, he probably did. Oh. For a while there, they didn't even know who the dude was. Like, they just thought it was a homeless guy, but they weren't sure because they couldn't tell. Yeah, his his, his identifying feature was eaten off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> In chunks. Oh, my thing. I'm sorry, but I've never heard in my life of any freaking drug addict eating another person. I know. I mean, yeah, yeah. I think the government's covering something up. Just like they, just like when all them birds and those fish. Remember when they, those birds and those fish just like dropped? Yeah. I'm like so strange. And you know they were saying, "Oh, that's normal. Mass birth, mass birth, birds and fish deaths are normal." That never happened before. I figured out right around that time was there was a big magnetic shield or magnetic field shift. Like the magnetic field shifted because, like, right after all that stuff was happening, an air, airplane in a um in Florida. Go figure. It was Florida again. <laughs> Couldn't mm-hmm. land the plane because his compass was messed up and put him completely wor- away from where he was supposed to be because the magnetic field shifted and it messed up his compass. Oh, uh, I, I do. So, I believe, my theory is, is the magnetic field shifted so the birds and the fish and everything got confused because they go on their, ma- they rely on the magnetic field to migrate hmm. and to travel <laughs> back and all that. that is- That's my theory, is the magnetic field. I did actually know that those two things happened at like the same time yep huh and everybody's like oh no it's normal i'm like that never mm-hmm. happened before not normal i'm like if it happened before don't you think people would be reporting it before yeah like the only thing i've ever heard of was the mass whale death and that was that was the navy testing sonar things mm. how rude navy people not nice I know. Aww. That's when they think they found like mermaids too. There's a whole like theory that they found mermaids. I know. I heard about. I, I want to play with a mermaid. Did you watch that on Animal Planet? No, but I heard about it on YouTube <laughs> somewhere. Oh my god! Yeah, it was. It, so, it's actually a really interesting sto- uh, show. They had. It's called. Um. It was on Monster Week. It was called Mermaids. The the. Bo- it's actually really interesting, and actually, I, I believe there's mermaids. There, yeah, there could be. Yeah, so the way they said it is, when when we evolved, is there was Neanderthal monkey people, right? Mm-hmm. That we evolved from. And some of them realized that you could get food in the water. So when the earth began to flood, some went more inland to try and survive. And some went towards the water because it was easy pickings for food. Hmm. 
because of all the fish. So it's possible. I mean, look at bears. You have your grizzly bears who live on land, and you have your polar bears who live on the and swim. Yeah. So, I mean, it's possible. Hey, I yeah. believe in mermaids. And if there is mermaids, they need to just leave them alone and let them live their lives. I know. Stop picking on them and trying to find them. Leave them alone. They obviously don't want to be found. Leave them alone. Oh, show. Word. Word up to the his. <clears throat> his house. Oh, shit on my nigga. Word. <laughs> Alrighty. Next question. Um, when was the last time you geeked out over something? What what does that mean? You geeked out. Does that mean freaked out? Did he mean freaked out? I think so. Because uh, over the zombie. <laughs> that was a little weird. That was strange. I'm like listening to the radio at like eight o'clock in the morning, and I hear that, and I'm like, oh, what are they talking about? What? What? For real? So I got on the computer. I'm like, is this for real? <laughs> Oh, it's for real! Did, did John freak out? John was like, what? What are you talking about? Dude, for real, there's a zombie. Because I know you said that he was all worried about the zombie apocalypse. I'm like, I'm like dude, for real. He's like, oh, I don't know about that. Okay. Them bath salts. Whoa. Uh, is there... What? weird it's weird and there was one guy that did a testimony said he was riding his bike and seen the whole thing Cereal. if i was riding my bike <laughs> and i'm just like oh what's that what are these people arguing about that dude's eating that dude and they have no clothes on oh let me whip my camera out <laughs> i'm sorry but if that I'd be like, number one, I, yeah, I, dude, eating this dude's face. <laughs> I'm getting the f out of here, <laughs> running home, packing my shit, and leaving the freaking state. How do they get superhuman strength? Where the hell does that come from? Well, like I always wondered, like, have you ever seen the movie Scarface? No. Okay. Well, in Scarface, Al Pacino does a whole buttload of cocaine, Ooh. snorting it up his nose, and the friggin' drug dealers whatnot come in his house, and he's got his machine gun, and they're shooting the crap out of him, and he just keeps on, say hello to my little friend, and well, that's what that is. And I'm, I'm like, how in the world is he still standing getting shot that many times? And I guess, yeah, there is, like, a adrenaline rush. Yeah. Like, they don't feel pain or anything when they're that coked up. It's gotta be a huge adrenaline rush. But I don't see how they get superhuman strength, but I think, I mean, did he really, I don't think he had superhuman strength. I think he just... I don't know, that's what I, they said. I mean, really, he... How can they say he had superhuman strength? He was sitting there eating a guy. They were shooting at him. That doesn't mean superhuman strength. That just means he didn't feel nothing. Did you hear about before in the past, though, when it took, like, three cops to, like, subdue him, and he took a nightstick away from some chick and broke her arm with it? Apparently, he's done this before. Oh, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> you gotta look this dude up. Oh, my lord. And they thought that he had... This judge. Oh, I bet he feels really bad now. He got, like, he was taken to court, and the judge threw his sentence out because he's like, oh, you'll never do anything to end up here. And then, a couple years later, he's gnawing on some man's face. Oh, the judge just free him, let him go. Here's a tip for all you children out there. Oh. Here's a tip for all you children out there. Don't do drugs, kids. It could make you growl at law enforcement, become... Lewd in public by being naked. Yes. Eating another man's face and just winding up dead. Because you got shot six times because you wouldn't stop eating a man's face? Naked. You know what I wonder? <laughs> if you ever heard of that show, A Thousand Ways to Die? I've heard of it, yeah. Okay. I wonder if he's going to be on that show. Because they have some 
freaky, freaked up stuff. I'm like, I wonder if he'll be on that show. That, that is an interesting way to die. To die. Yeah. Weird. Weird. I feel bad for that man. I know. He's got no eyeballs. They they said he tried to gouge his eyeballs out. Oh, he tried? He tried, but I don't think he did. Oh, I heard he didn't have any eyeballs. He, he has no nose, and he has no cheeks, and he has no lips. Aww. No. The only thing that was left was any hairy area. I heard anything was hairy. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. He didn't want hair in his food. <laughs> Really, I cannot imagine seeing. I mean, what, think about what them cops were thinking. I know. Guys, like. I wonder what that. <laughs> really? I wonder what kind of delusion that man was in to think that he could eat this man's face and growl at people like a dog. Did he think he was an animal? Did he think he was a zombie? Did he think he was like some weird cave person? What was that? He was probably growling. <laughs> People do not growl. This is true. What the hell did he think he was? A lion? A wolf? <gasps> well, he's probably delusional because his body temperature was like 106. He could have thought he was a werewolf. He could have. He could have. I'm coming to eat you. Look a snack, I want to eat your face. I'm still so I can get some muscle. Oh, that was me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, it's funny now, it's been a couple days. Yeah, I mean, really, what was he thinking? All righty, all right, let me see. My cat keeps knocking at this door. How rude! <laughs> he would say, hey, Mama. He puts a little paw underneath there to come and get me. Um, okay. If there are good aliens out there, they might reward a kind person like yourself with a gift. Do you ask for some sort of superpower or the answers to the mis mysteries of the universe? I would want to know the mysteries of the universe. Because I'm just curious about that stuff. Like you could, yeah. There were mermaids and zombies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know that, like Black Moss Monster or the Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, alien or Jersey Shore Devil, man. <laughs> Ghosties. You okay, Tammy? <laughs> I could have said I saw something in the corner of my screen. It's the ghosty. It probably is. Oh, it's the TV glare. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to do my other ghost stories video. I haven't had a chance to yet. <laughs> I was gonna do it today, but Logan woke up. Mm. As you've probably seen in my video. <laughs> yeah. That silly little boy. It's like Tamla. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> too much air too quick. <laughs> Your tweets make me chuckle. <laughs> All right, next question. Oh, oh God, it's another zombie question. I know. I know. <laughs> Could you create a perfect fighting style to combat a zombie? Yes. Don't let them eat your Put a headgear on. Put a headgear on with a face shield. What if they have the rest of your body? I think they start with the head and work their way down. Do they really? Oh, so. that's creepy. And if you just get bit, I guess you're supposed to change, or if they just kill you, you're supposed to change. I don't know. Would, and isn't it if you get scratched by them, too? I believe so. Or is that werewolves? I don't know. I pick both. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if there's, like, I don't know. I wouldn't let that zombie anywhere near me. <laughs> Aim for the head. Yeah, aim for the head or the heart. They don't have hearts, honey. They're dead. Oh, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> They're the living undead. Hmm. 
interesting. Zombies, zombies, you're supposed to either decapitate them or bash them in the brain. Ooh. Ooh. And that's how you kill them. Because of virus or whatever's in your brain. <laughs> that's why they want to eat brains. Brains. <sighs> I wonder why they want to eat brains. Monkey <laughs> <Lucky> brains. <laughs> All right. Zombies. 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 Yeah. Oh, no. I lost my paper. And then I found it. Okie dokie. How much would you charge people to teach them how to properly defend themselves against a zombie? Freaking against a zombie? I don't know. Just to defend themselves in general? Like... Five or ten dollars per class, but if it's a zombie, freaking hundred. Most deaf. Word up. <laughs> We're just like. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Next question. If beasts like Loch Ness monsters exist, do you think they can be trained to combat an alien invasion? At first, I thought beasts was breasts. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> what? Breasts like the Loch Ness monster? I didn't know that it had breasts, but hey. <laughs> I'm so confused tonight. <laughs> um... I don't know. I think they would be pretty independent and not want to listen to people unless you gave them something they want. Yeah. What is the Loch Ness Monster? I think everybody wants to know that. I think it's like, you know what it almost looks like? It almost looks like um, like a plesiosaur dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Like a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. How the heck does that hide in a little freaking body of water? I don't know. Maybe he just Maybe his little legs are really little and just his whooshness pops out. He, he chills. He chills. He's like, yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, there's a boat. I'm going to stick my head up. Oh, I'm going to that lock as mine. I'm going to make it. <laughs> that dude could totally eat people. Just like, let me tip you over and stick you down my neck. But see, nobody's ever been. This is what I'm saying. Nobody's ever been killed that we know of by the freaking Bigfoot. Nobody's ever been killed by the Loch Ness Monster. Nobody's been killed by a mermaid that we know of. This is true. This is true. So why bother them? Leave them alone. I know. Then you're going to provoke them and they're going to kill everybody. I know, right? If you got something really big and weird looking, leave it alone. I know, right? It's probably like, it'll get you. It'll get you, man. It'll get you. Don't poke, poke, poke weirdness things. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. What are you Don't doing, do it. You're just never satisfied with her every look. Ooh. Okay, next question. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Poppet. Hello, Crumpet. <laughs> um, next question. Oh. Um. Oh, okay. So this is from Daniel from the Facebook. He says, what do you think happens when you die? I think you see a big bright light and you go through the tunnel and then you're in the heavens. <laughs> but seriously, I think there's a bright light. I think there's probably like, there's been so many things that say that you see a bright light. So I believe in the bright light. Yeah. And I think that you see like, but I think it all depends on what you've done, how bad it's been, like, yeah, how like, bad you died and stuff. Like, cause I believe in the spirits getting trapped and stuff. Yeah. So, trapped. Yeah. In the... In the, like, limbo? Yeah, in the limbo. Yeah. Limbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think, like... <laughs> <laughs> then like past loved ones come and like take you on a tour of like your life that'd be awesome and then, take me on a tour and I think 
And then, well, what if you don't like where they're showing you? Hey, this is your, your, your new house. I don't like it. Can I get a different view? My pop is humming at me. <laughs> it's getting the crap out of me. Man, one time I was sleeping and it was... Pop. What? What? Pommy. Oh. Would you push uh rains. <laughs> almost built some pop. Swallow. <laughs> Already recording. This is from Who are you? Son Kiki? Yes, that man. <laughs> um he says how many how many dents do you have in your shin? And he would like us to show him how many dents we have in our shin and count them. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, frick, I broke a nail. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot, dude. There's one there, and there's one there. So two, three. Four. I don't have any dents. I got eight nodules from being kicked. I got four in this one. I don't have any on here. And none on this one. I got four. I got four on this one because I like kick stuff with my shitty shin bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't got no denties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dent free, and Tammy has four dents. <laughs> four in my right leg, because I like to kick stuff. Ow! <laughs> what the woo, Max? Kiki's kicking the door. There he is. Oh, he's stalking it. I wonder if, if animals would attack zombies. Mm, maybe dogs. Hmm. All right, All righty. <laughs> Next question. Um, I'm new to your channel. Could you tell me something about you? I'm hyper. I like cookies. I like pop and I like water. And I'm accident prone and giggly. He's not new to my channel, but hey. But you're. I'm married. I have children and I'm kind of a bore. A bore? So a bore. Oh. <laughs> Kind of a bore. And I can't hear, apparently. <laughs> yeah, she's deaf. <laughs> she's deaf. And it runs in the family. Six pumpkins in a cathedral. Or hospital. And what was the other one? Jane! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jelly bean. There was another one, too. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember now. Watch for the avatars. <laughs> I have a cut in my nose and I stacked this really hard. Ow! <laughs> okay, this is not a good drink to have because it makes me hyper. Pop makes me hyper. I like little animals and little children. They're fun to play with. <laughs> I thought of another fun fact. <laughs> I like sweethearts. And leopard print. And Yoshi. <laughs> yes, Yoshi! I'm wearing your leopard print shirt, BTW. Are you? Well, under here. <laughs> Next and last question. Man, a little hot. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, and we did it with minutes to spare. Word up the business. It's only 11, 12. Word. Okay, yay. Um, what's your favorite jewelry and your favorite nail polish? I like the spoiled nail polish and the confetti nail polish. I like darker color nail polishes, like black and maroon and pink. Pink. Gotta love pink. Yeah, I like dark. And then I like the like sheer glitter stuff that you put over. I like the star little glitters. But I don't have like a name brand that I like. Yeah. Nah. I like I like the spoiled ones. They're really good. As far as jewelry, I don't really I gotta wear stainless steel or surgical steel. Surgical steel. Because mm -hmm. I'm allergic to metal. Like these are even these are even surgical steel. They're they're actually um they're either lip rings or eyebrow rings. Hmm. My ears are gauged a little bit. But I'm like really allergic to certain metals, so I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry. Hmm. You need a cookie. It's my skin. It eats your skin? It does. For real. Like, even my glasses, like... Wait, did you say it itches your skin? No, it eats That's it. what I thought you said. Yeah, it, like, literally eats it. Like, like I have tape on this side of my glasses, and I have nail polish on this side, so it won't eat my head. Are you serious? Yeah. It, like, eats at my skin. I get, like, Huganda sores, and it'll just keep festering and getting worse and worse. Really? Yeah, it does it with my rings and stuff. Like, I have to take my ring off at night or it'll start eating my skin. Does, does, does it turn green? Like, your skin, does it turn green? That happens with rings of mine sometimes, and my hand will turn green. No, my, my, it just, I don't know. It's not, it, like, literally turns into an open sore. Ooh. Yeah. And it itches like crazy. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's no fun. So I stick with the surgical scale, and John's like, "Well, let me buy you some nice earrings." I'm like, "No, no, I, I, I'm too scared." I'm too scared. <laughs> I think that's the end of it. Yay!